I'll be telling you only two steps to fix this Wi-Fi issue. So if you're unable to use your Wi-Fi or unable to use your internet, if Wi-Fi icon is missing, we can fix it by only two simple steps. Okay, so the very first step is to press the window and R as in Romeo key together. Or you can simply do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here type ncpa.cpl. Now this is a command which will open up the network and internet page for us and I'll just click on OK. And here we have this network connections and uh, if you're using your Ethernet you can select Ethernet or if you're using Wi-Fi you can select your Wi-Fi. Now here you need to do a right click whatever the internet you're using and once you do the right click you need to click on disable. Once you click on disable, it will take a two to three seconds to disable it and then wait for 10 to 15 seconds. See if that uh, Wi-Fi is completely, um, the Wi-Fi is disconnected and then just do a right click and click on enable. Now this will refresh the internet service and if you have any Wi-Fi problem or internet issues, this will be fixed. You can simply open your browser and see if your internet is working fine or not. And if you are unable to use the internet, then we have one more step. And here you just need to press the window and A key together. Window plus A as an alpha. The moment you do that, you will see a new pop-up window where you have your Wi-Fi, your flight mode. So you just need to click on this flight mode. Now this will disable the network adapter for you and after a few minutes just click on that flight mode again to turn it off and then it will start connecting you can also select your Wi-Fi from here by just clicking on this arrow key and you will have a lot of connections you can try connecting to the different Wi-Fi connection for most of us uh, we get 5 gigahertz network and 2.4 gigahertz network. So this one is uh, 5 gigahertz network. You can try connecting to a different connection from the same router. You know, there might be a possibility that you're using a wrong Wi-Fi or you can simply connect to a different internet like that. All right. You can also turn on your mobile hotspot and by pressing window A key together, you can connect from your hotspot as well. Just to check whether you have a internet service provider issue or the computer issue. So you can turn on the Wi-Fi, I mean, use the mobile internet, create, turn on the hotspot and connect it from here by pressing window A and try to connect it. If that works, that means you have issue with your Wi-Fi, the internet service provider. All right. And you can also restart the computer many times. You know, it's a tried and tested method that you, when you restart the computer, that also fixes so many issues. All right. So you can do that. And there is one command which is very helpful if you have any bug, any problems, any glitches in the Windows computer, you can click on the search icon and type CMD and the best match will be command prompt. So you don't have to click on open. You need to always click on run as administrator and it will ask you to say yes. And here you need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. This is a very powerful Microsoft command. Um, this is called SFC stands for System File Checker and uh, it's a, it is a Microsoft command which will begin the system scan. It is a very good practice to, you know, run this scan on monthly or uh, quarterly basis. This will take five to seven minutes, might be 10 minutes, depend on your computer. And once this is done, this will um, fix if there is a bug and you just need to restart the computer connect to your Wi-Fi again and see if your internet is working fine or not. All right. There is one more thing which you can do is to set the DNS for your computer. Setting up a DNS, a faster DNS, not only increase the, I mean, uh, the experience, it will be a better, it will boost up the internet uh, experience as well, like browsing speed. 
So for that, you just need to press window and R and here you need to type ncpa.cpl once you type the run window. So I'll click on OK. And here you will have your Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So since I'm using the Wi-Fi, I'll select Wi-Fi and I will just do a right click and I'll go to properties. Now the moment I click on properties, a new window will pop up and here we need to click on this internet protocol version 4. Once you select that, go to properties and here select your DNS. You can use the Google DNS. Guys, this is a very important part. And trust me, this changes a lot of things. It not only boosts, boosts the internet, it will also, um, you know, if you have high ping, this will also lower the ping. So it will resolve the internet faster. So whenever you will access any page, it will load faster. So here I'm using the Google, I mean, Cloud DNS, Cloud Flare DNS, which is also a very great DNS, 1.1.1.1, and alternative DNS is 1.0.0.1. You can also try Google DNS, which is also a wonderful DNS, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 .8 .8 and alternative DNS will be 8.8.4.4. So I'm using uh, Cloudflare DNS. You can also try that. And you just need to click on OK and close it. And you need to reconnect your Wi-Fi. And you can also restart the computer and then see the difference in your accessing speed, the browsing speed. All right, and if you still have issues, if you have if your computer hangs or sometimes it gets stuck whenever you open your Google Chrome, then I would recommend to update your Windows by just doing a right click in the start icon and go to settings. Since you have fixed the internet problem, you can go to Windows Update and then you can download and install all the essential and important updates in your computer. All right, so you can also do that. And if you still have internet issues, then here uh, click on the search icon and type CMD and run as administrator, the best match, and click on yes. And here you need to type some commands, which I will maximize it so that you can type it. IP config space forward slash, and here you need to type release. Once you have typed it, this will uh, release the IP config and then we need to type, now we need to renew it. So uh, now we need to type IP space forward slash renew and hit enter. Once this is done, you also need to flush the DNS and I'll tell you how we can do that. So here you need to type IP config Space forward slash flush DNS. So it has successfully flushed the DNS, and you just need to restart the computer. And for most of us, this will fix the problem. All right, you can let me know in the comment section that which step has worked for you. And guys, if your computer is running slow, then you can go to the playlist of mine, how to make PC faster. That will really help you a lot. If you're using a mediocre, a low end PC, and if you want to increase uh, FPS, if you want to increase the performance of your laptop or the desktop, you can follow those playlists and it will be really very helpful and you don't have to install any third-party software. I personally never recommend anyone in any of my tutorials to install any third-party software because Microsoft itself is, has a lot of powerful uh, you know, tips to increase the speed and you can minimize unwanted applications usage and uh, not only the browsing speed, your booting time will be less Overall, your computer will not be stuck. If it's getting hanged again and again, that will be also fixed. And guys, you also 
there will be a steps to update your graphics driver as well so doing these steps will increase the performance of your computer and it will give you a good experience whenever you are using your laptop or the desktop all right so i hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial guys please hit the like and subscribe i really need your support and please leave a comment that which step has worked and if you need any tutorial you can let me know in the comment section all right if you haven't clicked on subscribe click on that hit that subscribe button take care guys have a wonderful day